So it was just the 60s, you know? I mean, it wasn't only sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It was, uh, you know, some high political times and conscious, the consciousness of the people and the heart that they, you know, that they showed to, uh, to stand up and, and, like I say, make things right for, you know, for the workers. I was just always hearing horror stories about what's going on, and, and then all of a sudden this, this Cesar Chavez shows up and, and things are getting done. And I remember the guy just getting roasted in the press and roasted with, with politicians, but still the, the communities were really showing up. These big benefits, the farm worker benefits that we did at the time, were just phenomenal. And all our buddies were doing it. The Azteca, the Malo guys, Cheech and Chong, these guys who we were all running around the country with them and stuff, there was no way in hell we were gonna miss this. Oh man, it was so exciting. The musicians were excited, the people were excited. You know, we were actually saying that this is what we're doing for, for those we love and those who were not being treated so well. And they knew that we could do something. You didn't have to beat people over the head to get them to do these things. The musicians came out and did it, you know. I think, you know, the times affected the music and the music affected the times. And just the whole idea of bringing rock musicians behind a, uh, a movement, uh, it was really in vogue then. I mean, because it, it was a very effective thing. I mean, these farm workers benefits. I mean, it wasn't like, oh, some little, you know, some tiny little concert in a park. I mean, there was thousands of people. You know, it made a big impact. 